Kevin Spacey has arrived smiling for the first day of his trial in the U.S., five years after the Hollywood actor was accused of making a sexual advance on a teenager. The New York civil trial focuses on allegations by Anthony Rapp, who in 2017 publicly spoke of an alleged incident at a Manhattan party in 1986 when Rapp was 14 and Spacey 26 or 27. Spacey, 62, denies the claims against him. He arrived at the Manhattan Federal Court today, and was pictured wearing a dark suit and smiling as he made his way through photographers and press. In the lawsuit now coming to trial, with the jury selection beginning today, actor Rapp, known for his work on Star Trek, Discovery, is asking for $40 million, £35 million, in punitive and compensatory damages. He claims that the actor, real name Kevin Spacey Fowler, acted to gratify his sexual desires during the alleged encounter at the party. The trial is set to focus on Rapp's claims against Spacey of intentional infliction of emotional distress and battery, court documents say, but not of assault, which was dismissed in the summer because they were bought too late. In a 2017 BuzzFeed article, Rappel edged that during a party at Spacey's home, the actor, while drunk, picked him, put him on the bed, and landing at an angle on top of him, pressing into him. He was trying to seduce me, Rapp told BuzzFeed. I don't know if I would have used that language. But I was aware that he was trying to get with me sexually. The two times Oscar winner was subsequently fired from his lead role in Netflix series House of Cards. After the story was published, Spacey said he didn't remember the alleged incident. He wrote on Twitter, If I did behave then as he describes, I owe him the sincerest apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior, and I am sorry for the feelings he describes having carried with him all these years. Later, Spacey's lawyers said he flatly denies that what Rapp described took place. Court records from the hearing in June, in which the assault claim was dismissed, say that, Mr. Rapp claims that Mr. Fowler lifted him up, that Mr. Fowler's hand his, sick, grazed Mr. Rapp's clothed buttock for seconds as he did so, that Mr. Fowler placed Mr. Rapp back down on a bed, and Mr. Fowler then briefly placed his own clothed body partially beside and partially across Mr. Raps. Mr. Rapp wriggled out, got up, and left the premises. Rapp testified at his disposition that there was no kissing, no undressing, no reaching under clothes, and no sexualized statements or innuendo. Rapp's lawyers put forward two New York State cases, where men were convicted of third-degree sex abuse for brushing or grazing the buttocks of women on the subway, for the purpose of sexual gratification. In April, Spacey's legal team argued in court documents that Rapp's lawsuit should be thrown out, as Rapp's deposition, they claimed, confirmed there was no touching that would amount to criminal conduct. They argued the lack of evidence meant Trapp's claims should fall.